Hello everybody, it's the artist Bone Z. I hope all is well with you today. Today let's get into what we're going to be doing. I've been working on a project called Hand Up, Not a Handout. Now let me reiterate on that. The handout is greatly appreciated uh, and is often needed, predicated to the hand up. Uh, in other words, uh, the, we have the saying, uh, you can give a man a fish, he eat for today. If you teach a man a fish, he eat for the rest of his life. But he may need a few fish uh, before he's capable of catching his own fish. Uh, so keep that in mind as, as, as we discuss some of these things in the future. Um, so what I got planned for you. I, I, um, we're going to take this over into fresh. We're going to take uh, everything I've done so far. We're going to take over into fresh paint. And we're going to do some uh, really weird and wonderful things with it. <laughs> I hope you follow along with me. Uh, part of why what I do is I'm wanting to, to inspire uh, you also to uh, uh, express your creative side. Uh, it's a good outlet for a lot of things. So I'm going to show you all so far where I've been and what we've been doing. This is where we stopped. Last time, uh, I took the, uh, I was a hand model. I took the pictures of my hands, and I basically just turned them and then linked them all on top of each other. Uh, if you want to catch up, I'm going to leave a link up here and uh, to the video, to the previous video, and you can catch up that way. So, let's go on to where we're going to take it now. Uh oh! No flicky switch. Danger. Danger. No, I'm just joking. So we're going to go over here to my fresh paint. And you can't see me now, but that's just fine because the work that I plan on doing today is going to be big enough. Now you see down here at the bottom screen, I have, I can work in flat oil. I can work in outline. I can use wash sketch or I can do brushed oil. Today we're going to work in washed sketch. I like the uh, texture of the canvas that we're on, so I'm going to leave my canvas alone. I'm going to grab my fill brush. Now you see, it already comes with a what they feel. Oh, I did. I go through these real quick. Watercolor, oil, pencil, and pastel. Today we're working in watercolor. Ah. Well, detailed paintbrush. I have a slightly less detail. I have an edge an edge brush, a fan brush, and I call it my big old fill brush. Let's clean it out. I want to load this up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my brush. You can expand the width of your brush. I can take it down, or I can bring it up. We're going to expand it out. And I'm gonna fill it. I'm gonna fill this in just a little bit. I'm gonna give me a little of that in there. Clean this off. And this is now let's lighten up just one little touch more. Clean my palette off. And this is the color that we're working with. That is gonna be my fill, okay? So I'm gonna leave my matter of fact, I'm gonna leave my paintbrush large and in charge and I'm just gonna fill in and you see that black that we that we have there that's uh, taking uh, I'm working live so it's taking some of the um, the colors that I have some of the black that already is on the canvas that's in uh, say the outlines and stuff like that it's just uh, smearing it is what it's doing it's smearing it on there because like I said when you first open up fresh paint it's going to be the paint is live and it will drag and I'm kind of using that to my advantage uh, to, to see where the um, where my shadows are so it's just a little thing that I'm using I'm going to try to drag out into the direction 
because I'm using the texture again, like I said, I'm using the texture of the of the uh, canvas itself. And there you go. So we pretty well, let me get this out the way. I can see. I'm going to shrink my pa painting down. You can do that on your little wheel, uh, on your mouse, or the little, you know, pinch, pinch in if you have a, uh, a laptop to uh, reduce the image. Now, because the, uh, the um, model had a uh, different uh, pigmentation to their skin, let us add in another pigmentation. And I think we're going to go with this. Clean our palette off, see what we got. I'll lighten it up a little bit. Of course, it's going to go over our base color, which I'm going to take some of our base color to. And there you go. I've got me a nice, I got me a nice uh, brown brown color. Uh, because hey, that's what I was saying. I can, I, I didn't have. Uh, guess I could call somebody up and had them come over, but it was just easier, just as easy enough. Because when you're creating, you know, you have the ability to do these things. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to fan it off so it's dry, so I'm not dragging any other colors into this. Okay, and we're going to paint the hand here. This hand is reaching up, possibly reaching up for the hand up. I'm not sure. But we have the other hand at the top, reaching down, willing to give a hand up. Just remember that as you're giving a hand up that you may need to start with a hand, a little bit of a hand out. And that's okay because we need to get my edges in here. We'll leave a little bit because as you see it all circles around and we went through that a little bit before about what comes around goes around so whereas you may have been the one giving the, the hand up needing a hand up yourself and that's what I mean what comes around goes around always know that that um let's see but And then we'll go ahead and wash that one out. We'll put some some of that down. And then just lighten it up just a touch. Lighten it up just a touch. Let's see what we've got on our brush. I kind of like that. We're going to put a little bit of... There you go. This is the mixing the colors. Let's widen my brush up. Mixing our colors. I think I like that. Now I'm gonna, I'm, since I'm doing a little bit more detailed work, I'm gonna drop my brush color down. And we'll go into this hand here.
and that's okay if I go outside the lines because I always I can always come back and fix it. Which I will. Let me go fix one of the little outside the lines that we had. And I can show you kind of how to do that. And, and I'm going to go ahead and use some of this as my shading on the inside. And that's exactly why I left some of this live. I left some of it live there. Right. Because we need to have little shadings and so on and so forth. Uh, and I will get into some of that. I'll s later on there's more details like the knuckles and the fingernails and so on and so forth. And I'll get more into that later uh, as we finish this up. I do plan on going around over here on the uh, around the uh, the edges of all this and don't worry I could back out of that work to just do down but I'm gonna drag those colors and and give it a, like a, a feeling of motion and we shall see how that works out for now that goes over here into the top oh I didn't mean to pull that up that goes into the top uh, priority for the painting that we're working on no flick the switch but speaking of flicking the switch if you like everything that you saw please leave a comment if you're on your phone there's a little arrow down there just pop that arrow and uh, it'll open up the comment section and while you're in there please take a look in the uh, descriptions there's links in how you can help support this channel. Um, I do have an artist where it's called Bone Disease Designs. Uh, please go take a look. Uh, see if there's anything in there that you like. And again, if there's something that you would like me to put in there, uh, leave a comment. I'm very eclectic. I paint all kinds of, uh, paint all kinds of things. Uh, so take a look. And it's not just for apparel, but it's also for... Um, for uh, for accessories like uh, phone cases, uh, magnets, even some uh, uh, are available to put up on, on canvas, and that's all in Bonesy's designs. And if you just like what you see and you, and and you just want to support me, there's ways to do that too. I have a cash app down there. But enough about me. Um, Sharing is caring. Hit the share, like, and subscribe. They're all down below. Um, I always say sharing is caring because that helps grow the channel. Tell people that you saw this, uh, this uh, wild hillbilly guy. He's out there doing all kinds of paintings and stuff. And uh, he's, he's, he's pointing at you and saying, hey, get up. Create. Do something. Uh, do it if you, if you paint. We, we all have some kind of ability. Get out there and do it. I think that's all for now. If there's anything else that you can think of, you know, you watch me at the end of the video. You tell me what I was indicating out there at the end of the video, how we should be and conduct our lives. Until then, I will leave all the links and descriptions up here in the videos. Uh, so, until then, this is Bonesy signing off into someplace else in space and time. Until then, Peace.